Hi friends! This is Dainty Tank. Thank you for joining me. Welcome to P.E.K.K.A Plus. <laughs> so I have to say, th I, this is not LGBTQIA Plus specific. This just came up and was like, oh yeah! Someone gets transformed something something alpaca sports. I don't even know. I'm like, this sounds just like fun. <laughs> And, you know, after Fatal 12, I think we deserve a little fun. Let's have fun. Because it's not just gay games, but it's also playing games gay. So, what better way to do that than play around with some alpacas? Don't take that weird. Anyways, let's just have fun. <laughs> this might be a series, it might not. It just might be a weird one-off, and that's fine, too. It's loud, though. I already turned it down, and it's still up here, so... Sorry! Let's just jump straight into things. Start. What? A violin melody can be heard in the distance. It's a pleasing sound. Summer in the highlands is calm and clear with gentle breezes. As I stand on the grassy plains, still damp with the morning dew, I quietly close my eyes, instead of when I loudly close my eyes, BLINK! And lend my ear to that refreshing melody. The love of my life is at my side. We hold each other's hands, wishing we could stay here, like this, forever. Oh! Kazuma. Hmm. Isn't this still summer vacation? Why is my alarm going off? Going back to sleep. It's nearly halfway through summer vacation. I, Kazuma Saiki, Saiki, S A E K I, sorry for any sort of mispronunciations, cling greedily to my pillow and dreams, determined to sleep in. The abrupt ringing of my cell phone tears me away from my thoughts of laziness. Hmm. That's beeping. Why? Hello, Kazuma. Hello? Oh, Yukari, it's you. Are you up and out of bed? Yeah, I'm up. I mean, I just woke up. What's going on? Why are you calling me so early? You know we have to be at school today to prepare for the school festival, right? Make sure you show up! Actually going to turn off. Yeah, I'm gonna turn off people's voice actors. You know we have to be at school today to prepare for the school festival, right? Make sure you show up, or else I'm going to just mentally wait to finish this hearing the sound before reading, and that's just gonna slow down everything. Really? No, oh, right. Gotcha. Jeez, oh, everything's going to turn out fine, right? Yeah, it will. It. I'll get ready right away. It seems that preparations for the school festival are starting today, even though we're in the middle of summer vacation. A single, you should do it too, Kazuma, from my girlfriend, Yukari, was all it took to make me a committee member. <laughs> or that's what I remember, at least. <laughs> well, I'll be waiting at the usual bus stop, okay? Make sure to eat breakfast. Yeah, yeah. You know, you sound like my mom. Jeez, if you have the time to joke around, then hurry up and get ready! Got it. So, see you at the usual spot, at the usual time. After Yukari's wake-up call, quickly get ready and jump into- or rather, jump onto my sweet ride, since it's just a bicycle and rush out of my house. Was your bicycle in the house? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's quite the like window wiper transition. 
I ride off to school, pedaling as hard as I can. Yukari should have gotten onto the bus at this usual time, so if I don't hurry, I'm gonna be late. Didn't she say meet at the bus stop? Ha! Ha! Whoo! Out of breath and with sweat running down my brow, I make my way to the bus stop near the school, past the labyrinth, and on to the 13th hour to save the child. No, wait. That's the wrong movie. What just happened? I wait for the bus you curry should be on as I catch my breath. A few minutes later, the bus comes right on schedule and a long-haired girl steps off the bus alone. Good morning, Kazuma! You have very deep, dark, soulless eyes. <laughs> like, you're cute otherwise, but your eyes just kinda like, suck you in. How big is your pu pupils? Like, what? <laughs> She gives me a familiar bright smile with a familiar greeting. Her name is Yukari Izuma. We're both freshmen in class 1A of Sekoi Private High School. She's also my girlfriend. She has long, shimmering hair, doe eyes, and a delicate build that makes you worry you'd snap her in half if you hugged her too tightly. Basically, she's a girl so cute it feels like a waste on me. Oh, don't down yourself. That's Yukari Izuma. Good morning. <laughs> Looks like you're still sleepy. I am indeed sleepy. Didn't you- How are you still sleepy? After, like, literally biking heavily to get here. I thought about going back to bed. But I couldn't keep Yukari waiting here. By herself. That's why I got- here in such a rush but there's no need to make anything of it but didn't you just make anything of it honey boo i changed the subject <laughs> okay by the way you carry what are our class doing for the festival again ah oh, jeez, you don't remember at all a maid cafe we're gonna stick you in the skirt <laughs> she's so determined <laughs> Don't you know? Oh, I see. That's right. That was it. That face says you didn't remember at all. <laughs> Those glowering eyes. It's more pronounced with, like, dark pupils. No, that's not true. I honestly have no such memory. We, we were both there when we decided on what to do, too. Yukari stares at me with an expression that hinges on astonishment, but she nevertheless patiently describes the maid cafe that our class will be hosting. Things started with someone in our class reminiscing about visiting a successful Akihabara maid cafe on his Tokyo vacation. Okay? Successful? All the guys threw up their hands in support and applauded the speaker but they still had to get the girls on board. Surprisingly, the proposal was approved quickly. The vast majority of girls agreed with comments such as, I've always wanted to wear a maid outfit, and actually, I do have something like that. Uh, okay. Then our committee leader, Ayaka Shinozawa, sealed the deal by saying, I'll make sure to prepare suitable maid outfits for all the girls in class. Right, yay, Aka. Nobody was left to object and our class merrily decided on our refreshment booth with a maid cafe theme. Or so the story goes. I was about to say, didn't you not remember anything but now you're remembering everything? I feel like a food stand is an option that involves lots of work for a little gain, profit-wise. But I'll be happy if I get to see you carrying a maid out and maid clothes. Uh, all right, buddy. <laughs> Switch to cicadas. <laughs> As we talk about the school we attend, comes into view. You were talking and walking during that time. You didn't tell me that. Looking up into the sky, straight up like you do. The sunshine is getting stronger. As one does. 
The glaringly hot summer sun is merciless. Same with the cicadas. Turn them down. Seems like today is going to be another hot one. Jesus. We need to wipe our eyes. Wipe these cicadas away. Committee leader Shinazawa is waiting in the classroom by herself when we arrive. You also have soulless eyes. Morning, Shinazawa. You're early as usual. Good morning, Seike Yukari. Good morning, Ayeka. As always, you two seem to be getting al along pretty well. This resourceful committee leader, who easily realized the boys' collective desire for a maid cafe, is considered by most of the class to be level headed and earnest. However, I also know that she's a hardcore uniform mani maniac. How? How do you know this? Yukari told me that Shinazawa can't resist cute outfits. Also, how does Yukari know this? Her collection doesn't just include the uniforms of nearby high schools, restaurants, and maid cafes. It even goes as far as having real ones actual housekeepers of English nobility wore. What? I've heard rumors of a special costume room that she has at home. But the truth of that claim is beyond even Yukari's understanding. Again, how does Yukari know all this? And why are you telling me all of this right now? <laughs> Kazuma! You're getting along so well. I feel like the classroom's temperature is rising. What are you implying? What could we do about that, Kazuma? Yukari looks to me for help, but Yukari, you're very mistaken if you think you can always get help from me. Why not? You're her boyfriend, right? Hey now, hey now. If you don't cut it out, Yukari will get embarrassed and heat this room up even more. You're not helpful. Not you too. She's so betrayed. One more committee member arrives late. Ah, whoops. We've got more important things to do than uh, pick on poor Yukari here. We could pick on Yukari more later. I should have continued reading. I didn't realize that she was going to blatantly say it. <laughs> True. Let's call a temporary ceasefire for now and pick up again after the meeting. What? More later? You can't- you don't need to! Alright, let's start the first meeting. Yes. As a member of the organization- organizing committee- organizing the organization, I'm getting fired up! Weren't you just sleepy and then staring at the sky? Hey! Listen to me! Hey! Listen! Sorry, stepping into Legend of Zelda there. The meeting starts amongst Yukari's adorable protests. In the dark. <laughs> Window wiping. Well, that should do for today. This is our only our, only our first meeting. But didn't you already have a meeting for the meeting? Anyways, but Shinozawa had already detailed things so minutely that it ends quickly. You really command things like a military strategist. Maybe I should start calling you Kong Ming. Why are you- What? <laughs> Let me handle help rallying the people. Sales should be just fine as well. I won't want to get on your bad side. Thank you. Flattery won't get you anywhere, you know. You have a girlfriend who's sitting right beside you. I didn't mean to flatter her, but she seems in high spirits after seeing everything go as planned. Window wiping! After that quick meeting, we leave Shinazawa and go out for a stroll through the town. I think I can speed up the text. Text speed. Cool. 
After that quick meeting, we leave Shinazawa and go out for a stroll through the town. There we go. At the shopping... <laughs> now it's like... It's fine. I'd rather it, like, display and then I can read it. At the shopping center in front of the station, we try to hide from the hot rays of the sun. So we go from the record store to the bookshop. Okay. Window wiping. We go through the arcade and into a fast food place. Looks like a McDonald's. I drink a cold soda in the well air conditioned room. Yuri doesn't like soda, so she's sipping iced tea daintily through a straw. A fleeting moment in the evening of a hot summer. I'm looking forward to the school festival. Yeah, I can't wait to see you in a maid outfit. Is that the only thing you think of? Jeez. <laughs> But I'm surprised you accepted wearing maid clothes. No qualms about it. Girls all wish they could transform. Uh-huh. Into? Is that how it goes? So even you want to try being someone else, Yukari? <laughs> well, I wonder. I don't really understand girls' difficult feelings. But if she says so, then it's probably right. I don't understand girls' difficult feelings. How is this difficult, my dude? You are the biggest airhead. Oops, it's already late. I need to head home. Ikari looks at her watch. After saying that? That really sounded more like, Oops, it's getting late. Time to head home. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, you're right. As we trade silly jokes, time passes us by. What? Didn't she just say- And it's not that we're doing anything or going anywhere in particular, but just being together makes it a wonderful time. Such times are small and simple, just like me, but unique to the lives of wholesome students. And some parsum students. Uh, and just being able to experience them is enough for me. Window wiping! Well then, be careful getting home. Yeah, you too, Kazuma. Watch out for cars! Yeah, I know. Those cars. Well then, see you tomorrow! See you then. After seeing Yukari off at the bus stop, I pedal my way home, staring at the sky straight up like I do. This is why I have trouble with cars. Looking up into the red tinted sky while paddling. <laughs> I didn't know I was right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is just this is just great, horrible, wholesome crap. I love it. <laughs> I see a single white cloud floating not that far off the ground. It looks to me like a sheep or a camel for some reason or another. <laughs> what? Whole new character. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Why is all of this happening? Are we actually meeting like <laughs> uh, Rinka's great grandfather here? Like, is this how this goes? Because this guy's all suited up and there's a cat in the window who might or may not be Lethe. <laughs> Kazuma, get the bill for table three, please. Roger. You can take a break once you're done. There's a little coffee shop hidden next to the residential area, not far from the station. Black Cat Cafe. Is that why you have a black cat in the window? I've been helping out at this shop far longer than I've attended this school. Isn't there child labor laws here? You're a freshman. You're a freshman at high school, so like... Of course, you haven't been attending this school for long, but also, what? <laughs> None of this makes sense. It wasn't really a part-time job. Rather, my family has been on good terms with people there since I was little, so they're nice to me as well. When I saw how busy the owner was, I just started helping out here, here and there. 
During my childhood years, I ended up coming to the Black Cat instead of the park whenever I couldn't find a place to play. So now I'm closer to the owner than even my own father, who never really played with me much. There's some trauma there. That's probably why you don't understand women, is because you're following in your father's footsteps. Oh, mean. The owner, Akio Mitaka, runs a shop with his two daughters, but there are times when he'll take any help you can get. Thanks so much. Now then. I've just seen off the last customer, and now it's just me and the owner inside the shop. Strange how large the inside of the shop feels when it's only the two of, two of us in here, since it's a rather small cafe. Oh, so you're having a maid cafe at your school. I'm just chatting with the owner since there isn't much of anything else to do. Yeah, it just suddenly happened, so I've been bogged down with preparing for the festival. Students are the main event at school festivals, after all. Make sure to do it properly. Please don't add on more pressure. Hey now, you can't go half-heartedly into this. If you have any concerns, I'll gladly listen. After all, I know a thing or two about cafes. Sure. Really? I can think of a certain someone that would love hearing that, actually. As I say that, I imagine a grinning Shinazawa saying, I'll take you up on that. Why are you connecting to her and not Yukari, who was more excited about getting you guys on that committee? <sighs> so, like, the cakes for the ca maid cafe. How much is needed to make them, and how much should we spend on ingredients? Well, it's not so much the time as the equipment. Will you be able to use their kitchen? No, the cooking club has reserved the kitchen. We have to pre prepare everything in our classroom. So getting ovens will be difficult. Then we'll need to buy one from somewhere. If so, then our expenses will be pretty high. The owner folds his arms and goes, hmm. This is just a suggestion, but what if the black cat was to supply the cakes for your festival? Why would you do that? Like, it's really sweet, but... What? Are you sure? His sudden suggestion surprises me. In fact, the black cat cake sets are known to be delicious even around the neighborhood. So much so that they've been featured in mag magazines before. Whew. Customers would definitely love having those cakes in the maid cafe. Yeah. If you could leave black cat business cards near the register in return, that'd be great. That won't be a problem at all. I think we'll need quite a lot, though. Will that be fine? This is for you, Kazuma. It'll work out. Thanks. Can we go over the details next time? Sure thing. I'll tell Shinazawa about this later. Don't want to give the owner too much trouble, but, well, this is Shinazawa we're talking about, so it should be fine. And there's one more thing I will I want to check on with the owner. Boss, can I have time off at the end of the month? My shift is Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. But it can be changed freely depending on my and the owner's situation. The end of the month, August 31st, is actually Yukari's birthday. Oh, good for her. Since it's her birthday, I'd rather be by her side than working. Oh, of course it's fine. Is there something you're doing? It's Yukari's birthday, so I was thinking of taking her somewhere nice. I see. Have fun. Thank you very much. Actually, there's something related to that, to that I wanted to ask you about. What would that be? I was thinking about getting her some kind of present. Okay. Yes. That is a thing that people like on their birthdays. What do girls like getting? Oh, Kazuma! What do girls like? Especially mine. I don't know. I stare at the sky while I pedal. Ah, uh, well. Conversely, what kind of gift from Ryokari would make you happy, Kazuma? Even though I'm asking him, I get a question in response. 
Uh, me? Or <laughs> don't really have anything I particularly want. I think I'd like anything Yukari picks up for me. Right. There's your answer. So you're saying it really is the thought that counts? That's what I believe. She likes music, so maybe I'll find her some violin related accessories. <coughs> the owner smiles and disappears behind the counter. Probably going to check on the coffee beans. Because, you know, every now and then you just need to check on them. Just lest they just wander off. Ah! <laughs> Hi! Probably going to check on those coffee beans still. Welcome. Oh, Yukari, it's you! It's you? Is that a way to treat a customer? Hmm. <laughs> Understood, Ma madame. Would this seat be adequate? I lead her to a seat near the window as I say that. Yes, thank you. May I please take your order? Well, it's a little late, but I believe I shall take my lunch. Fetch me today's lunch menu. The A combo comes with carbana ca carbonana, whereas the B combo has a rice omelette. Both come with complimentary salad and drink. Then I'll have the rice omelette be set. <laughs> I knew you'd go for that. You really like your rice omelette. You know, because this shop's fluffy, melty rice omelette is so good. <laughs> As to be expected from regular, quite the discerning eye. I'll be here shortly. Boss, B combo, order up. Sorry, have my hands full right now. Can you make it, Kazuma? Having to steal my, all of these beans back into this bag. Roger. As you heard. So you're making it for me today? I shall not disappoint, madam. Okay. When does the alpacas happen? Pull my up apron as I head to the kitchen. Sometimes I have to wheel the frying pan instead of the owner. Is busy roasting the beans. He's roasting the beans? Like... <laughs> now? That's a long process. A long, dark process. That's not like a quick thing. If he's roasting the beans. I've practiced cooking fluffy, melty rice omelets so often that it's now my forte. At least there's something good about you. What is happening here? Alright, that should be good. I place the omelette over the chicken and rice. Cut it down its center to open up the gap and finish it up with topping everything with sauce. But I feel a little mischievous today. Don't mess with her food. And a little something to the salad too. Just a bit of mischief. Just a bit of mischief. Sorry to keep you waiting when the deluxe fluffy melty rice omelette. Wow, it looks great. Kari quickly brings his mouth a, a spoonful of delicious rice omelette to her mouth. Mmm, yummy. Why do girls always look so this happy when they eat something delicious? Because they understand the meaning of food. If you don't, then that is your fault. Her happiness is contagious. That face. What things up with that face? Oh! Oh! But just as she bites into the salad, her eyes go wide and she freezes up. Oh, okay. So it's like mistimed. <laughs> oh, so it really is something you notice right away. <laughs> well, she calls it out like there's a male symbol in there. She furiously washes the, sa the salad down with water. And looks at me in protest, tears in her eyes. Jeez, you put okra in my salad on purpose knowing I don't like it, didn't you? Why would you put okra in the salad? No! Yep, I did. Why are you such a jerk? Usually there's no okra in the salad, but it's on the house. You know it's good for your complexion. <sighs> Grr. Cosma, you jerk. It's something mean. 
Don't be mad, you'll ruin that pretty face. Oh. This is how not to be people. Meh, whatever. Use your Bert better than this guy. Just dump him. Dump him and go and hit on Ayaka, because Ayaka definitely would be up for it. Yukari puffs out her cheeks and keeps eating her rice omelette. You say whatever, but you're still eating the rice omelette. Because it's just so good. It's fine. It's not like it's the rice omelette's fault. With warm feelings failing my heart, I look at Yukari and wonder what to get her for her birthday. Maybe not okra. I know it's the thought that counts, but I want her to be happy getting it. Unlike how I wanted her to ha find her salad that she's paying for. I'll try taking note of what grabs her attention next time. <laughs> Boom. It's 740. Huh? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Little alpaca faces win the world. It's 7.40. Yukari steps off the bus right on schedule. Good, you didn't sleep in today. What do you mean today? It's not like I sleep in last time. Oh, if I hadn't called you, then you definitely would have slept in. She's right. Fine, I'll admit that you were a big help that time. As long as you understand, I control your universe. Well, let's get going. <laughs> Window wiping. <coughs> We're meeting up for a school festival again. Okay. Shinazawa, he was handling the costumes, has organized a platoon of seamstresses from the handicrafts club. Handicrafts. There's a handicrafts club? Other team members are busy working on the greetings manual and putting the menu together. What Yukari and I are doing is making the list of what needs to be purchased. Hmm. White tablecloths would be nice. Wouldn't pink be better if it's a maid cafe? I think that would be cute too, but since the outfits are pink, I think it would be better if they weren't the same. I see. So the maid outfits are pink. Hmm, hey, you imagined something weird just now, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, he was staring at the sky, thinking about pink, pink outfits, yes. Don't worry about it, you're cute no matter what you wear. That's not what I mean! Jeez, come on, you need to help me think of stuff. Sorry, sorry. Also, we need plates and cups and need a sign as well. Oh! That's right. So I guess that's about it. We've covered everything in that span of time. It was probably all my idea. We check over the list we've made. According to the schedule, we'll be skipping the next meeting to go shopping. We really need to put some thought into this since I want to buy everything in one go. Yeah, it should be all, right? I think so. If you remember anything else, we can just add it then. What's after this? Since everyone's working on their own task, it looks like we can go if we're finished with our part. Then, how about we get to our, uh, do our homework together in the library? Aw, I'm happy you asked me, but I have practice after this. Orchestra club, right? was it? Yeah. Can't miss that now. Go do your best, sport. Sorry about that. It's fine. It's fine. I understand you're actually a productive human. Kari apologizes again and leaves the classroom. I thought about joining a club at the start of school, but working at Mr. Mitaka's shop was both enjoyable and fulfilling, so I decided against it. After Yukari leaves for her club, I jump into the conversations with of uh, classmates who are helping with preparations. It's nice that they've shown up, but unfortunately, it's too early to start doing any actual work, so they're just waiting around. Hey, Sink, you finished the DLC mission put out this week? Sandy Plains, Corpio, the mobs it summons are max size, too. Oh, that's already out? 
Seriously? You didn't beat it yet. My bad. I've been busy lately. Busy meeting with Izumi. Must be nice having a real girlfriend. No, not what I mean. We're hitting the hunting grounds later. You're coming whether you like it or not. That boy got sassy. And that's fine. I got it, I got it. How much time? What? <laughs> School bell rings while we're talking all the that. Oh. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. So the school bell rings while we're talking about all that dumb stuff. So we leave as well. When does alpacas happen? We're 35 minutes in and watching Kazuma just struggle. I think about just heading back, but thoughts of Yukari resurface. Come to think of it, I've never actually seen Yukari up close while she's playing the violin. I shoot her on during competitions and tournaments, but she doesn't want to be watched when she's practicing because it's embarrassing for her. Silly girl. It feels like she's practicing every day. Performing with an instrument must really be that hard. Piques my interest, so I decided to go peek in the music room. Despite the fact that I know that it uh, causes her discomfort and she has not to. <sighs> music room is soundproofed. But he's even now in the hallway, I still hear it. But just the slightest hint of a violin melody can be heard in the hallway. The song. I've heard it somewhere before. It's Pachelbel's Canon. Is it? Oh yeah. Ba -da -da, ba -da 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 -da. Yep. It's Pachelbel's Canon. Oh, open the door. There is Yukari, with that breeze that just happened to lift up part of her skirt. Elegantly playing her violin. It doesn't seem like there are any other students in the music room. She keeps playing, unaware of my arrival. It doesn't feel right interrupting, so I'll wait until she's finished. Yukari has been playing the violin since she was little. I remember being told at some point that Pachelbel's Canon was the first piece she learned. She plays this piece so as to not forget her beginnings. How do you know that when you never listen to just her play? I don't know much about classical music, but I can tell the sound of her violin is crystal clear. It's a pure, honest sound. If I listen to it with my eyes closed, it's as if the sound is probing the depths of my own heart and feelings. <sighs> Those shallow boy feelings you have. What kind of person am I? <laughs> One without much thoughts or big brainness? Smooth brain. No, no good. No good. <laughs> In terms of hobbies, I just play some games from time to time. Even my part-time shifts at the cafe aren't as much of a job as they are. A way for me to relax by helping out a bit. I've never seriously put forth the real effort in anything. That's very, very easy to read. Yep. You can Earnest expression and the movement of her delicate arms speaks volumes at the time she is poured into music. I feel a bit envious of her. As I'm thinking about that, the music stops. Yukari has turned to see me. Huh? Kazuma? Were you listening? Yes, I was. You should have told me if you were coming. Nah, I thought I'd just peek in before leaving. But your music is just so beautiful, so... Uh, flattery won't get you nowhere. Wasn't expecting anything by praising her. I just said what I felt. Was that Pachelbel's canon? That's right. The song is sort of warming. Yes, I love this piece. It's just a song that gets deeper the more I play it, I think. I see. Well, I won't want to get in your way of your practicing, so I'll go. I don't want to disturb you, despite me having come to particularly disturb you. Okay, see you tomorrow. <coughs> I leave the music room so as not to get in Yokari's way again. Closing the door, I hear the sound of the violin start up again. Same song, Pachelbel's Cannon. 
It really speaks to how much she loves playing the violin. I want to find something that I can pour my heart and soul into just as much as Yukari does, so I can stand proud beside her. Okay? okay? That's what goes through my mind. <laughs> that was just... <laughs> we're, losing, we're losing days here. So, three straight up X's and then the last one they go through the motions. <laughs> That's what goes through my mind. And there was no difference between what's going through my mind when we last left off four days ago. I've just been going through life as just a husk of a human. <laughs> it's almost the end of summer vacation. This is w around when things start getting fired up in preparation for the school festival. Yukari and I are buying things at the shopping district near our school. I want to talk to Yukari about her birthday while we're out. <laughs> Figure it out on your own. <laughs> it's her birthday after all, so I want to take her somewhere with a different feel than our usual dates. Um, plates, right? Cups, right? Also... Forks and knives? That's all the tubware, tableware we need. Should be. Also, wet naps and stuff. <laughs> and stuff. Aprons will be prepared by the costume guys, I think. Yeah, that sounds about right. What happened to the checklist we made earlier? Oh, I have it. She hands me a piece of neatly folded paper with her from her pocket. Um, also a sign and tablecloths, right? tablecloths. I believe we'll find those in the craft store over there. Where to buy the sign? The blackboard thing, right? Maybe a general store? Let's look in this store. We head into the next general store we see. Okay. We head into the next general- oh, everything's just dark again. And then we dot out of existence. <laughs> The shorter dots out of existence. Are we coming back into existential equality here? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Nothing. Yeah, they don't have anything. Shame. Come to think of it, didn't you buy something a bit ago? What was it? Er, yeah. Actually, just a while ago, I was able to find something that would be perfect for Yukari's birthday present inside the store. I thought I would be able to buy it without her nosing, but it looks like she has... Nah, just bought some slippers since mine have gotten old and I wanted new ones. I blurred out a lie. Hmm, I, I see. I'm certain she knows I'm probably lying. Yukari, however, doesn't seem to pay it much of mine. Maybe because she's being nice. So, where can we buy one? One what? A signboard. The thing that I I was asked where it would be, and my guess was wrong. Ah, uh, oh yeah, that's what we're doing. <laughs> Yuko remembers what we were searching for and thinks about where to get it with the ho-hum sound. With a ho-hum sound? Ho-hum. Ho-hum. When do alpacas happen? What? I've been misled. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh. maybe they'll have something over at the new Tokyo Mount Hoods next to the station. I remember that mis- she- my- that- bleh. I remember that miscellaneous everyday general store had been built and opened up earlier this year. Well, let's go check out our last stop. Yeah, okay. Huh? What's up, Kazuma? An arcade catches my eyes and stop moving. No, actually, it's a prize in the UFO, UFO catcher that gets my attention. New release. New release? Hey, Kuyukari, mind if I stop in for a sec? Huh? That's fine, but- Hey! Wait a minute! Before Yukari finishes answering, I rush to the arcade. Yukari races after me in a panic. Wait. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is the new release? Right, an alpaca figure. Okay, so we finally hit alpaca. When you say alpaca, you normally think of a plushie. This one is a figure. 
The box is about 12 inches tall, so the figure inside is probably about 60 inches. Put some money in the machine so I could think about that. I put in, of course, a 50 yen coin. 500 yen coin. But by putting in 500 yen, I get three tries instead of the usual two. For larger boxes like this, it's obvious that the claw is too weak to grab the middle of the box. My aim is the front. Be pushed forward bit by bit by the recoil. I steadily nudge it forward with the first and second tries. Then on my third try, can't use the same technique. It won't move any further. Into when it's this far forward. That's why this time, I use my one side of the claw to push up against it. That's why this time I was only one side of the claw to push up. Okay. Woo! Got it! What the heck is this game? Woo! It was an easy, easy spot this time. Piece of cake. Huh? You sure do like your alpacas. Yeah, I love them. Might love them only second to you. <laughs> okay, Kazuma. Alright. That's right. I really love alpacas. If you were to ask me how much I love them, I'd say more than I love eating three times a day. No wonder you are so, like, not in understanding your girlfriend. Because your girlfriend is a normal human. With emotions and desires. And likes food. More than alpacas. <laughs> no, that's just crazy. My love for alpacas began long before the recent alpaca boom. There's an alpaca boom? I was given an alpaca plush for my birthday when I was three years old and really loved it. The rest is history. <laughs> okay, as you wish. Hey, Kazuma, are, are you okay? Yukari calls out to me with a worried expression. Uh, no, it's nothing. Thoughts of alpacas are distracting me from my girlfriend. I'm with Yukari right now, so I need to be thinking about her and not alpacas. By the way, Yukari. Hmm? What? Your birthday's at the end of the month, right? Uh, anywhere special you'd like to go? You remembered my birthday? I only thought you knew about alpacas. Of course. What man would forget his own girlfriend's birthday? You. Specifically. Like, I couldn't- I, I could see you going that way. <laughs> that makes me happy. So, anywhere you want to go? Hmm, let's see. Oh! Carrie points at the arcade while she speaks. Huh? The arcade? Not that. The kingdom! I want to go to the alpaca kingdom! Alpa alpaca kingdom? That place is filled with alpacas down in Nassau? Yes, that one! Fine with me, but this is for your birthday, you know? I love alpacas too, and I was thinking a place both of us could enjoy would be would be nice. I, you didn't know about your shared care about alpacas. Okay then, well let's do that. In front of the station, there's a bus that goes directly there. Can we be at the usual spot around eight thirty? Okay, sounds good. I also want to go to Alpaca Kingdom, so this trip is the pleasant surprise for me. We acquire the missing sign, and after we bring everything we purchased to the school, I take Yukari out on my bike. Uh, okay. <laughs> While staring at the sky. It's fine. Not to the bus stop like usual, but down a dirt path near the river. My house is in the opposite direction, but of course that doesn't matter. On our way back, neither of us speaks, but both of us are probably only thinking about our trip to the Alpaca Kingdom over the weekend. I, no, I think, my dude, that's only you. While well, you're staring at the sky and not looking at the road or your girlfriend. My head is already filled with a curiosity about things like if you can feed them or just or even ride them. Both of us on one bike, we quietly ride home on the dirt path and along the riverside. There isn't anything special about it, and just being with her makes me happy. Thinking about alpacas. <laughs> Here we go! Boop! 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 Again! Boop! 
Boop. <laughs> the last one. Why? Today is a long awaited day for your alpaca kingdom. I have been do doing nothing but staring at the screen and wanting to see what's alpaca kingdom. Usually I bury myself in my pillow and up until the last moment, but today I wake up pretty early. I even get to our meeting place without being late. The Akari is already here, and she waves happily when she sees me. Good morning, Kazuma! Good morning, Yukari. Such nice weather today, isn't it? Yeah, ideal. The weather for an outing. I wonder what it's going to be like there. I can't wait! I researched everything ahead of time, so I shall lead you to any corner of the alpaca kingdom, milady. Did you just milady her? Okay, I am in your hands. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. The bus is here, so let's set out. <laughs> Onward. Two alpacas. From the early morning, we're in high spirits. We travel by bus to the station, and from there, we board the Nauso Alpaca Kingdom direct bus. The bus departs the terminal on schedule and smoothly emerges onto the highway, heading straight for the kingdom. Dot dot dot. More dot dot dots. Do we skip the alpaca kingdom? Why? A few hours pass. The bus we're on arrives at the ranch in the highlands. A few hours pass. Hold on. We're just sitting there absolutely in dead silence. Just kind of blank dissociative state. Waiting for bus, the bus to get there. Anyways, which are still chilly with the morning air. Touchdown! Yeah! Fine weather! Oh, there's so many alpacas. They're on a rock. Phew! Ah, the air is delicious here, too. The alpacas actually smell really weird. <laughs> it's not delicious smelling. Oh! I can see alpacas already. Ooh, you're right! The moment we pass through the entry gate into the large ranch, many kinds of alpacas come into view. White, black, brown, gray, beige, mixed color ones too! Their faces and fur are all different. Just like humans. Oh, hey, hey! It looks like we can give feed to the ones over here. I believe there is a place we can buy feed nearby. Let's go look. We search around together. Alpaca food. Hey, isn't this it? What Yukari finds is a mechanical dispenser. There's a dinky little poster stuck on the top. Alpaca food. Ultra soft. Not for human consumption. <laughs> Just reminding you. Did someone eat this in the past? Yes. Looking over at Yukari, she's already br buying the alpaca feed. Can't have her beating me to it. Why not? Why? It's her birthday. Let her have what she wants. I brought all the money from my part-time job today, so it all fits in the in my budget. Your budget is just to spend it all on alpaca feed. Brought all the money from my part-time job. Okay. God. H hey, Kazuma, how much do you plan on buying? Well, after coming all this way, don't you want to feed all the apacas? Sure, but look at all the kids lined up behind you. Let them have a chance too! Oops, my bad. Looks like the bad habit of mine just reared its ugly head again. I got lost in the moment when it comes to alpacas. What is happening? Why is- I don't know. <laughs> As I'm feeling remorseful, Yukari gently pinches, punches me in the shoulder. Come on, you should feed them too, Kazuma! Woo! Go! Fed the alpaca achievements. <laughs> I got an achievement for feeding the alpaca! <laughs> Woo! Good girl, eat a bunch! Looks like Yukari has already started feeding an alpaca while I've been feeling sorry for what I did. The alpacas are nice, of course, but somehow more pleasing to watch you curry feed them. She laughs with such joy that it makes me feel happy as well. It was a good choice to come to Alpaca Kingdom. Hmm? What is it? No, nothing. Alright, I'm gonna feed them too! Okay! 
been feeding them alongside Yukari. The alpacas come over to me too when I offer food in my hand. Yeah, good boy. <laughs> By the way, alpacas only have lower teeth. Oh, you're right. So that's why it didn't hurt. They're completely herb herbivores. <sighs> They're completely herbivores. After all, er, were you bitten? <laughs> Actually, just a bit ago. It got its teeth on me. Sheesh, you need to be careful. It's fine if you're excited, but er, uh. I look at all the packets it's been chewing on my entire right hand, along with the along with the feed. The alpaca is going through the motions of chewing with such a blissful expression on his face, almost as if it doesn't even notice something's wrong. Oh, when it happened to me, it spit mine out so quickly. Your hand must be tasty, Kazuma. No, no, my hand isn't food. Hey, let go! Try pulling my hand up, but it doesn't budge. The guy doesn't intend on letting go! What to do? <laughs> wow, fluffy. <laughs> Yukari. Yukari doesn't seem to mind the predicament I'm in, and is playing around with the alpaca. It's her birthday. Let her be. And deal with your own alpaca hand. Whoops, sorry. Hey, bad Mr. Alpaca, spit out Kazuma's hand. She finally throws me a lifesaver. The alpaca seems to finally give up on at Yukari's insistence and releases my hand from its mouth. Whoa, covered in drool. Here, I have wet naps. Thanks. Take the napkin and wipe my hand. It's just about time. Should we have lunch? Ew. <laughs> Sounds good, but there aren't many places to eat here in Alpaca Kingdom. Well, I thought about that already, so I brought a picnic lunch with me. Not bad, Yukari. So where should we sit to eat then? Why didn't you plan anything here, Kazuma? Glancing around, I search for a good spot to relax. Ah, how about around here? It's the shade and it's probably cool here. Sounds good, let's do it. We move over there towards the shaded bench. Ta-da! Try making a few sandwiches today. She opens up her large sponge box as she says that. Oh, looks like it came out nicely. There are many types of sandwiches inside, like ham, egg, tomato, and others. Ham, egg, tomato? I'm not that good at cooking, but I did my best for today. Kari, who normally never cooks, tried her best to make these sandwiches just for today. That's what she just said! What time did she wake up this morning, I wonder? Thinking that she made these for me makes me feel really happy. Okay then, bon appetit. Nom. How is it? Nom nom. Kazuma? Yukari looks worriedly at me. Yeah, delicious. Thank goodness. So it was well worth practicing. She gives a deep sigh of relief. Cooking is probably not her forte. Yet, she's the kind of girl to always at least try. Yukari understands her limits and does her best to push them. That's Yukari. Never said it, but I think that's one of her most admirable traits. Thanks. No problem. I'll eat too. I've watched you eat the entire time. Okay. Back to dots. Woo! I'm stuffed. I hope you enjoyed it. We gaze absentmindedly at the alpacas after we finish eating. Time goes by slowly as we relax. You know, something, something, alpacas, some- Oh, they do? It's called pacing all the animals in the can- uh, Kem and Dine family move like that. Oh, is that so? On that note, when the animal moves to its front and hind legs on the opposite sides to move forward, it's called trotting. Horses, for example, a little bit of trivia. Alpacas are domesticated- Oh my god. <laughs> I am going to stop this here. I don't see how this could get better. But I figured it was fun for a one-off. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if I should keep going with Alpaca Plus. Does it get better? I don't think it does. But it's fun for a one-off. Let me know your thoughts down below. And with that, I'm gonna leave it here. I love you all. I'll see you next time.
Bye.